Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little ditto plush and I hope that you enjoy following along. Let's jump right into the materials. Here are the supplies I'm using for this project. I've got some light pink fabric, black felt, pins, fabric scissors, a sewing needle and thread, and my pattern. I will also be using polyfill stuffing. You can download this pattern for free if you go to the link in the video description. For this plushie, I'm using minky fabric, which is stretchy in one direction and also has the fibers that lay in a certain direction. So first, make sure that the stretch of your fabric is going this way. Then make sure that the fibers lay going downwards. When you brush your hand down, it should be smooth. And then if you see here, if I brush my hand going back up, all the fibers will stand up. I started by tracing my pattern pieces on the wrong side of my fabric. Make sure to flip your ditto pattern so that you end up with two pieces that will line up when faced right sides together. I cut out all three of my pieces, which look like this. I'm going to place the front and back of my ditto facing right sides together and sew along the sides and the top just like this. Here I have everything pinned in place and ready to take it over to my sewing machine. I sewed along the sides and top about one fourth of an inch from the edge of the fabric. In order to reposition my fabric throughout all these curves, I lowered my sewing needle, lifted the foot, and turned my fabric. I trimmed some of the extra fabric from the edge so that it would look neater once I flipped the plush right side out. Be careful when you're trimming this to not cut through your stitches. To attach the bottom of the plush, I started by pinning the sides in place first, and then I evenly pinned all the way along the bottom. Remember to leave a small hole in this bottom seam to flip the plush right side out later on. I took this over to my sewing machine and sewed the bottom piece on. Since I pinned the fabric in place with the bottom facing up, I had to take the plush off the machine to reposition the bottom fabric when moving around the sharp corners, so that's what you see me doing here as I'm sewing. I flipped my ditto right side out and used polyfill to stuff it through the small hole in the bottom. Once I was happy with the shape, I grabbed some black felt and started working on the face. I had some pre-cut black felt circles that I'm using for the eyes, and then I cut a long skinny piece for the mouth. I used pins to position the face on my plush so I could see what it looked like before sewing it in place. And once I was happy with it, I went ahead and started sewing. If you aren't confident with hand stitching, you could always hot glue this on. But what I'm going to do is use an applique whip stitch to attach the face. Once the face was done, I finished up my ditto by using a ladder stitch to sew the back closed. If you have an embroidery machine, the face can be easily embroidered before you start sewing the body together. I just want to show you the difference between embroidery stitches and using the felt for the face. For anyone that does have an embroidery machine, I will have this pattern available on my shop as a digital download. Alright, so this is the finished plush and I hope that you can follow along. If you'd like to give this one a try, the pattern is available for free through the link in the description. Like I said, I also have the embroidery pattern for those who are interested in that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to see your plushies if you decide to try this one for yourself. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, and I hope to see you for the next one.